Hi guys, today we have episode 2 from uh, this tutorial about map editor and uh, today we are not gonna start building because I'm I want to show you some uh, quick commands or how to use the commands in uh, map editor because I'm not gonna talk about them uh, in future videos and uh, I'm gonna start with this console of the map editor uh, as you see this green cross here it's new item move delete item properties node properties play start I'm not using it uh, and this one snap to nodes snap to vertices snap to grid and snap to ground but first we have here the background map very useful when you want to place a city or a road but very annoying when uh, you are working in the same area and you don't need this background because it's very annoying it's very white there is a cure for that and that cure it's the key A from Argentina on your keyboard if you press once your map is gonna disappear if you press the second time your background is gonna disappear if you're gonna press the third time nothing happened and the fourth time all things are back we are not gonna keep this background <coughs> so don't be scared if you open your map editor and see nothing around your map uh, maybe you forgot to activate the background map I'm gonna talk first for this with these four icons by default this snap to the ground it's enabled uh, it's very important because uh, if you want to add something on your map and you have different levels this uh, material is going to float in the air so we need to have this snap to the ground enabled all the time to be sure uh, any material I'm going to place on the map is going to be on the ground level this one's uh, snap to vertices and snap to nodes is very useful when you try to connect two roads or a road with a prefab because <coughs> if you don't have this enabled I'm gonna show you if you don't have this enabled the road are not gonna be attracted <laughs> Uh, one to another and you can uh, link it but if you check both of this you're gonna see your road it's linked you can disable this uh, when you place fences or other material uh, you don't want to connect with uh, one corner of the fence with the other corner and so on let's talk about some windows standard window windows commands we have uh, if we have this let's i'm gonna press ask to disable all commands if you press M from move here select with the mouse all nodes you can move them you can move it up rotate uh, 
uh, if you want to use another Windows command like I did earlier it's copy paste select the red node press ESC or not control C and control V and the editor it's already asking where to put this uh, copied material let's place it here now we have two roads okay uh, if you delete by mistake you are going to select a red note or none you can delete it in two ways press D here and click on the red node the road is gone or you can simply select the road press move select the road and press the del the key del on your keyboard and it's gone if by mistake you deleted something you need uh, the undo command it's available in uh, editor uh, you're gonna use your keyboard for that you're gonna press ctrl and z and your deleted item is back and not just this you can undo many operations okay uh, let's talk about moving things for example i'm gonna press move select this rotate i'm gonna press r choose one node this one or this one to rotate press move to move not just in uh, horizontal we can move this and the vertical up and down <coughs> and we gonna have a road up and the road down if you don't want if you want to use uh, to move this road uh, straight down up or straight left to right this is the way you're gonna look this is local moving movement by the direction of the road or global movement straight down up straight right and left most important thing uh, I should start with that it's about nodes you have noticed it we have here red node and green node important thing the thing is you uh, can't connect red with red or green with green if you are gonna try to do this is not gonna work never or green with green let's place green here let's place green here and they are not connected the only way to connect things is green with red now they are connected If you have, I don't know, change your mind, you don't want to connect these two roads, uh, you have two ways to, to repair this. First way is to divide this road by two. Uh, use the middle middle button of your mouse the wheel and click on the red node now you have two segments 
and you are going to delete this and the road connection is broken but a easy way to do this and a very elegant way to do this before uh, without disturbing many things let's undo this thing just i did we have one node you want to untie this node simply uh, press and keep press the shift button of your keyboard and one click on the red node but not like i did with delete uh, command enabled let's do it again press ESC there are no commands active keep shift down click on the node and now if you use the move command the connection it's broken there is a situation when you can connect you can connect actually two green nodes uh, two red nodes never ever but two green nodes can be connected if one of them is from a prefab like I don't know this one this is a cross prefab it has uh, square nodes and basically this green node can be connected on all three position of this prefab rotate of course is gonna work with red move connected broke connection shift click connection is broken but you can also connect with a green node it's connected but keep in mind shift connection broken keep in mind this is working only with one round green and one square green uh every time you want to play something on your map you can choose it from here or you can use the commands i'm gonna press esc if i press one and e no if i press one and e i'm gonna place a road if i press 2 and e i'm gonna press a prefab this one if i press esc 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 my keyboard is not working as it should if i press 0 and e i'm gonna place a piece of land just land without road if i'm gonna press free with and then e i'm gonna place place a building keep in mind this is very wrong name for this because they are not buildings they are fences barriers um, uh, lines of vegetation like uh, I don't know let's find one Fen fence wood this is a fence okay it's not a building press E again choose another material like uh, I don't know let's find some vegetation shrubs are nice this is not a building <laughs> this is vegetation this is a fence but in map editor they are all generic named buildings 
the real buildings are when you're going to press 4 and E yep model item these are models if you want to choose another model do like I did press this uh, magnifier magnifier icon here and the content browser is going to open with model all models available in the game uh, the same things goes if you want to choose a road press 1 and E and click here the content browser is going to take you directly to the road to the roads or to the road type and the last thing I want to talk about is this movement you can use this or this but it's very hard to use the mouse I use the keyboard C I'm on the ground I can use free camera now with W D A and S uh, I can use this but if I want to edit something let's say I want to move this fence I can see any nodes to activate the nodes in free view just click right click on the map with the mouse and now your free camera is locked you can move forward anymore but you can use the commands to uh, edit materials for example I'm gonna press M and I'm going to move this fence, I'm going to move this C and C again ask, C and C again and your free camera is on soon as you click, right click the mouse the free camera is stopped and now you can edit things move, delete and so on I hope I don't forget something but if I did I'm gonna talk about it in future episodes uh, that's it for the moment from the, la uh, from the next one we are gonna make this, this great map even greater don't forget to save your work don't forget uh, after the last save closing the editor don't forget to transfer your work from base file to mod file that's it guys have a nice evening bye bye